Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the long dark survival mode on Voyager. Our supplies are running a little low here in the camp office of Mystery Lake. We still do not have the ability to fish. We're waiting on these cured guts on the floor. Let's take a look at them. Okay, they're like halfway to... Oh, these ones are really close. Okay, well, that's two, which will turn into four fishing line. They'll be ready by the time we come back, but we have to press on. It's getting too close. So our mission this time is to follow the railroad left and go cross the forlorn muskeg to an, a region called the Broken Railroad. At which, at the very end, there's a hunting lodge that could have a hunting rifle and some other supplies. And uh, we could kind of hang out there for a little bit and hunt deer and wolves until we're ready to come back here. And maybe that's where the fishing skill book is, too. We could find more fishing line and stuff that way. But the problem is it's already past midday. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, be walking this railroad at nighttime, which is scary in the forlorn muskeg. And sadly, this is as fast as we can go. Oh, yeah. I'm trying this new healthy energy drink thing called Bravenly. Apparently, you can sign up and be like a salesman for it. My sister's doing it. And, uh... I, like, half-jokingly said that she could make a video on this channel about it on April 1st. So I don't know if we're actually going to do that or not, but she wants me to join her and become a spokesman, basically. Like, not, It's basically like being sponsored by somebody like HelloFresh, except you pay them to be their sponsor, like to be a spokesman for them. And unless like you're selling it like crazy, I don't really see how it's worth it, but my sister is all for it right now and uh i'm trying this grape one i also have a pina colada flavored one it's good you mix it with water and it tastes like flavored water but it's supposed to be healthy and not have all the sugar and crap of energy drinks they also have these like energy vitamins and other multivitamins. It's just some kind of like weird health. I don't want to say scam, but just one of the many health things that pops up every now and then. Hey, there's some more limbs. We could get some firewood. We could get some firewood and turn right back around. But I'm determined to go to this hunting lodge at the bitter end of this railroad track. It's now three o'clock in the morning. Three minutes past the hour. No, you're not going to be singing that again, you stoop. Oh, yeah, I'm up. I figured, why not? Let's do some walking in the snow. Because that way I can sleep during the hours in which they might be inspecting my apartment. So I won't get interrupted if I record at a crazy hour like this. Yeah, sorry for the speed. I think I already addressed that. This is as fast as we can go, but... We're a little bit encumbered and soon to be forlorn.
That was the short part of it. Ooh, don't get a sprained ankle now. If that felt long, you have no idea. Because that was like the shortest part of the whole trek. Now this is the longest part. The forlorn musk egg. It is just railroad from this end all the way to the other end. Surrounded by frozen ice that breaks. So if you step on the ice, you'll hear it crack. And there's like an exclamation point that appears on screen. And you have like a couple seconds to sprint for your life and get back to like solid ground. Otherwise you'll fall in and get hypothermia and like there's basically no coming back from that. So it's best to just stay on the railroad and just go straight. Like you could kind of book off to the left and you, you can see you can get some branches and stuff. And there is some stuff out there. There's a couple houses kind of in the middle of this map to the left. There's stuff to pick up, but it's a scary, sparse region full of ice that cracks. So I just feel like passing through it to get to Broken Railroad, to get to the hunting lodge. We'll get whatever supplies we can. Hopefully not walk any slower than this. Turn around and come back. And those cured guts will be ready for us to craft into fishing line. And we'll be able to hold our ground at Mystery Lake for quite a while, I think. Plus, if we get any wolves and stuff, that's more cured guts. The only problem is that when you carry guts on you, it has a scent. And we've already seen what happens with the wolves if you have a scent on you. Mmm, yeah, this grape drink is weird. At least it doesn't quite taste like Dimatap, because that would be terrible. You know what Dimatap is? That, like, cold medicine? I don't know if that's... that might be a regional thing. I used to like the flavor of Dimatap when I was a kid. Now, there's a bear that can appear here, so I'm kind of looking around. Sometimes, you see that red derailed car? That's where we're headed. There's a little shelter in there. But sometimes the bear is hanging out right by it. Which would be the worst luck. But yeah, this is basically the only safe spot on this whole region, is this little ra train car. Well, actually, that's not true. There's the buildings to my left, further up ahead. This region actually connects to Mountain Town. But you need to come from Mountain Town with rope in order to get down to this lake part. And we didn't find any rope in Mountain Town, so... Unless it was in the Milton Basin that we did not explore. It could be that this particular playthrough, there's no way to access that little gateway between the two regions. What is that? Is that a first aid box? Yes, it is. This will come in handy. Oh, garbage pills. Wilderness Kitchen again. Now we have two of those to read. Alright, whoa, accelerant. What we got in here? 
I could use this. Uh, not really. I'll leave it in there. <sighs> Scrawled message. A memento. Huh. In the muskeg? That could be anywhere, dude. That's one thing, I wish the mapping system was better in this game. Alright, there's a decent supply of firewood and coal and accelerant. No sleeping bag, though. Good thing we have one on us. Alright, let's press on. Our temperature is not dropping, so we're making the most of this. Plus, we only have a little bit of daylight left. So we gotta get to the broken railroad region. And, uh... We're probably gonna have to find a little safe nook to build a campfire. And heat up some peaches or soup or something. And we just have to hope that the weather holds out. This is probably making our clothing wet. Which is not good for when night falls. But there's a maintenance shed between well it's, it's a ways of to... oh jeez they're patrolling up there but yeah basically if we can make it to that maintenance shed we'll have a place indoors to rest but it's, it's still a long ways out there. And this does not bode well. What? Where? where? Holy crap, I didn't even see that one. Dang. Major bruising and it's saving. There's no turning back now. We're in this. Get out of here, dog. We're supposed to be better with our handgun, remember? What the heck? See, it's a little scary because we left not at full health, so... Alright, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> this might change our plans. This is guts, this is meat. 3.8 kilograms. Oh no, we use the knife. Yeah, the knife is an hour and 20 minutes. I'm on weather hold out. Temperature's still staying strong. Man. It used to just be a wheel. There wasn't any kind of graphics involved with that. Carcass harvesting novice, we leveled up. Oh crap, our scent is... our scent is bad. That is a bad thing to have in this region. Oh, 
Holy crap! <laughs> Why can't we do that every time? Wait a minute. Wait, what's that over there? Is that a book or beef jerky? What? It moved. That was weird. This food. That was very strange. But it was beef jerky. Hold on. 5.4 kilograms. And more guts that we could turn into fishing line. Come on, weather, hold out. Temperature's good. Now our weight, however, is gonna be garbage. We ha we have to go back and cook this meat. Like night is coming. Yeah, that's not good. Oh my god, look how slow we're moving. With a full scent. Holy crap, this is gonna take ages. Oh no. I think I chose poorly. Fifty-one bullets. We just gotta get back to that red train car and cook up all this meat. There should be enough coal and wood in there to do that. I'd hate to burn through it all in one pass like this, but we've got a lot of good wolf meat on us right now. So ideally, if we could teleport right now back to the main cabin that we've been hiding out in, we'd be golden. But this is how slow we're moving. And we're moving so slow that the wolf can catch us again. Am I riding up on? <laughs> There's no way I can show this whole journey, but we're not safe, so anything could happen. But this is just way too painfully slow. Like, I don't mind doing it, but... Yeah, this is the problem. I'd cut it out, but these wolves will not stop. We can't even get too much more meat or else we won't be able to move at all. You can have so much weight on you that you literally cannot move. Got an infection too. All right, wolf bite, bandage up. Old man's beard dressing on the infection. Oh, there's another sprain. What is that? Get away. Where are you? gonna be doing this the whole way back to this red car. I'm gonna run out of bullets. Temperature's going down. Oh, 
that was a headshot. How is he still alive? I saw the blood gush out and everything. Are we safe because of that? Yeah, man, that last headshot must have, uh... Scared him away. Alright, we made it. We're starting to freeze, though. It'll be fine. We don't, I don't think we need that accelerant, really, because this is guarded by the from the wind. Uh, wait, no, what did we... Okay, I'm just making sure which books that we still have to read. Oh, we have generic books on us that I forgot to drop. Well, that's stupid. I mean, it's fine. That's what I need right now, but... It's stupid to be carrying it this whole time. me do we have enough fuel to keep this fire going that soup is not looking too good but I don't think it'll make us sick either way we got a snack on some stuff Field dressing your kill. Let's finish this book, man. One hour at a time. All right, now we got to check on that meat. 700 calories. Hey, cooking just leveled up. All right, get more meat on there. Oh, we need more fuel. Coal, there we go. There's accelerant. Is there not more stuff? Something satisfying about doing this. But all right, we need this coal. Reclaimed wood, more coal. I knew there was more supplies in here. We gotta get some of this scent off of us and make this meat safe. Seven hundred seventy calories. This is some good stuff. It's gonna make us survive that many more days.
Oh, maybe not days. If a whole steak doesn't even fill the hunger meter. Our water is going to go low on us, too. But anyway, let's keep reading. This will finish the book. If I don't rest soon, I'm going to faint. Do we not level up carcass harvesting? All right, that's all the meat. We just need a little bit more. Time. Let's use sticks instead of coal. Something satisfying about eating a whole steak and chugging some water in this game. It makes you put your fingertips together. No, I don't know. Going back to that stupid thing. Get some water going. Should be enough. Man, we just barely pulled that off. Now, we're dying of death dying so we need to sleep but we're warm by the fire now but for not long the fire's about to it's extinguished so now we're probably freezing oh no what's our temperature gonna be it's full but it's dropping and it will drop in the sleeping bag so we have to pack up and move Could take the charcoal for mapping purposes, but we'll leave that accelerant for a future time. This energy has to get us home. Oh, it's gonna be a long walk too. And our temperature's dropping. Although the sun is coming up, but that's still going to be hours of temperature dropping. And if the weather changes, we could have wet, cold clothing. Well, unless something happens, I'll see you there. Pop off the hunger again. And the water again. We are almost at the slowest possible walking speed with the weight that we have on us. And we're at a hypothermia risk and our health is already at half. And this is how fast we move.
We have to make it to the cabin, which is... You know how far away it is. We started the episode walking this track. I don't know. We might have to drop some stuff. Yeah, what's the harm in that? There's this little rock here. Oh man, we barely moved. All right. Just all the flares. We could come back for this stuff. All the flares, the book, the can. Why do we have two? The stupid rock. I'm getting weaker. Yeah, well, this is not good. Oh no, is the weather turning too? I don't know if our health is gonna make it to the cabin, and I don't know if we're gonna beat out the hypothermia. We need to drop some more crap. All of our stuff, except for the gun, because we might need that. Okay, that gave us a little boost. Man. <laughs> oh, get in there! We did it! I had to drop so much stuff. The guts are cured, at least. We can't... We have no energy to craft anything, but... It's there. It's ready for it. We gotta come back for the guts. I had to drop the guts in the wolf pelt. Like, all my papers. But we made it. Barely. Jeez. What an adventure that was. Give me some of that ability to carry weight again. Sprain risk is healed. Hypothermia risk is healed. Oh, that's... that's already eaten. Have another steak. Are you kidding me that the wolf meat's gonna be gone by the time I... Like, I'm gonna go pick up all the stuff I dropped, and by the time I come back here, we're gonna be all out of wolf meat. <laughs> So stupid. But hey, we're moving again. We haven't moved this fast in a long time. And, first and foremost, these guts. Let's get that fishing line. Four of them. The moon is coming up. Oh no. I hear the wind picking up outside too. Alright, we're... We're above half with the other guts on the floor. No. Not now. Let's just wait. Nothing's gonna happen to our stuff out there, I don't think. It's mostly just stuff that doesn't matter. So, uh, how do we do this again? Here we go. Fishing tackle. Ten minutes. Anywhere. We can make four of them. Well, never mind about the broken railroad 
hunting place. And the maintenance shed and all that stuff. Because now we have fishing tackle we can hang out in Mystery Lake. a little bit. Hopefully the storm will go away and we could go pick up our crap. bit dark, but I can see just enough to do what I need to do here. I guess the smart thing would be to go as far as possible and pick up the things in the order that of which we drop them. Because like over here, here's all my papers. Yeah, we really are going to run out of wolf meat by the time we get back to the stupid cabin. I mean, the whole point is surviving as long as possible, so it, it helped us survive longer, I guess. <sighs> Taking the guts and the wolf pelts, man. I don't care if it slows me down a little bit. I don't want anything to happen to that. We gotta cure them indoors. That's eight more fishing lines and we already have a lot of fishing hooks. So we can stay here for a while. Uh, I need that stuff too. But let's, let's go all the way. There's my lantern. I can drop any of this gear. Wasn't there... No, there was something before this stuff that we dropped. Yeah, all this crap by the rock. Oh, that's right, the flares and the books. I don't know why I'm so tired. There goes the ability to sprint. <laughs> oh, to be fat again. And we still got all those papers to pick up. And I wanted to get some of the branches that I passed along this way. Because we need more firewood if we're going to be hanging out here. Oh my gosh, you're almost like, how, yeah, whatever. That means the fatigue has dropped to a point where our carrying weight has significantly lessened. So I'm going to make it even worse by carrying more wood. Because we must.
We might have to use that whetstone soon to get our hatchet and our knife back close to 100%. I see a mound of papers. <laughs> Just stupid. At some point, your fire starting skill gets high enough that you don't need tinder at all anymore. So that paper and the tinder plugs becomes useless. It happens pretty quick too, like at like level three or something. I guess we just haven't built that many fires yet. Well, that's okay. I like using this stuff. Fur limb, holy crap, that's really good wood. Oh, we're barely moving. There we go, dropping more guts on the floor. Let's move to the side a little bit and drop the wolf pelts. Just following the windows, man. That's the only way I can navigate this darkness. <laughs> Drop all the firewood. Because I believe I'm standing in the bucket. And uh, we got some books, so we'll sidestep a little. Drop the books. And we found the bed, which means top off the stats. And call it quits. All right, we're back in good standing. That's all state stand. Are you in good hands? We still got a little bit of wolf meat, not much water. It's time to go fishing. All of that, though the plan was different originally, we've got firewood, we've got fuel. Um... Is it storming again out there? It's enough to run and fish for a little bit. Oh wow, those, those other guts are almost cured. And the ones we just put down are barely getting started, but they're they're getting there. The thing is, you need guts to craft some of the other stuff, too.
He's storming. We might be able to fish for like two or three hours before we have to sprint back to the cabin. Do I not see the fishing hut yet? Wait. That was just a spot on my TV. Where the heck is this thing? There it is. There it is. Oh, please don't freeze to death. Come on, temperature, hold out. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Hmm. All right. That's garbage. Oh, please don't go hypothermic. Gear starting to slow me down. That's good. Uh, we gotta get out of here. A cedar limb worth five cedar logs. I forgot one could spawn there sometimes. I guess that's one good thing about having gone to a different region, came back, and had all those storms. That was a bad fishing adventure, though. We gotta level up the fishing, and the only way to do that is to not use that thing we were using, but to do what we just did. Field dressing your kill is done. Come on, come on. I did it. I did it. There we go. Get some of that water going, and we will cook the lake white fish because it takes the longest. So much for our wolf meat. Oh, we got like a smidgen left. A crumb. <laughs> a crumb of water, too. Good thing we're boiling more. Man. I just can't believe how fast you go through that stuff. Like at best it gives you a day, maybe two. And you gotta be on the move that whole time getting ready for an alternate plan. Feels like a lot of gear.
Wilderness Kitchen. I don't know. Oh, I thought we started one of these. I guess not. Oh, crap. That fish is in trouble. No, it's going to burn. Crap. Why did I do that? Oh, well, that was a baby fish anyway. It's okay. I started thinking about the water and thought we had time. I forgot about the fish. We gotta do something about this weight. We're gonna be hanging out here for a while, so we don't need flares. We, well, we don't even have that gun. We're gonna need that sometime, but not now. The flare gun is the only gun in the game that can scare a bear. All right, let's try this again. Gotta keep hoping that the fishing line lasts and doesn't snap. This is basically gonna be our routine for a long time now if they don't snap. Just come to this hut, fish, cook the fish, get firewood, Boil water, rinse and repeat until you can't do it anymore. Let's do three hours. We'll put that lure on. It's starting to weigh me down. Oh, it's a fat fish. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. I was gonna say. What the heck? Where did these wolves come from? I know I smell like fish. Go away. Man, they just appeared out of nowhere. Don't get me again. Are we safe? They kind of ran pretty far away. We should be able to keep our distance, even though we have the scent meter on us. I think we're okay. the wolf meat.
All right. Newsprint roll, wood matches. What's the one that, field dressing your kill? And gun, guns, guns. Both, both of those we can burn. We've had that gun book for a while now. Come on. Turned out pretty well. All right, here comes the fish. We got two decent sized ones. Not good enough to read though. It's making stomach noises. I'm holding on to the coal because that's our emergency when we're in a blizzard fire starting stuff. Sun coming out? Oh, this gear is slowing me oh, down. Oh, the fish is so huge. Little one. Let's not burn the little one this time. Gotta keep it on two hours so we can boil water. Although, I guess we could use that water purification pill stuff. Oh my gosh, are we really going to eat all the fish too? Yep, literally all the fish that we just caught. And there goes the water. I mean, we got water boiling, but yeah, we already got to go catch more fish. I mean, it, it keeps us from eating our chips and sodas and stuff, but man, does it go fast. The fish gives us a little bit of lantern oil every time, too. Yeah, like we could pick this up now and put the little pills in it. That way we don't have to keep on making sure it's two hours of fire. But since we did this time, there's no point. We can also do a little bit more. I just like to have a lot of water. Because that's the one thing you... Like I've been saying since the beginning, that you use it so much. Okay, well, our plans changed a little bit from what we said we were going to do. But we're sitting good in Mystery Lake now, as long as we can keep catching fish. So let's just keep leveling up that fishing skill, which we will start doing next time, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care.